This is becoming a very common sight in Oklahoma right now, especially on pecan trees and on fruit trees. It's the fall webworm, and it's different from the webs you saw earlier in the summer. Those you probably found back in the crotches of trees, and those are webs made by the eastern tent caterpillar. Those caterpillars spun a web and left it at night to feed out on the foliage. Well, the fall webworm does just the opposite. It spins a web out on the foliage canopy and feeds within that web. So the web just gets larger and larger as the tree becomes defoliated. Now, one way to control these is to try to spray them with either Bacillus thuringiensis or seven or another material that will control caterpillars. However, that web is sometimes hard to penetrate. Now, a lot of old time gardeners will take a broom handle and put a rag on the end, soak it in kerosene, and try to burn out the web. You can do that, but it's very dangerous. We really don't recommend it, especially if you're getting high up in the tree, especially because it's very dry right now and there's too much of a risk of a grass fire. So what I suggest you do on the lower limbs is take a pole pruner and prune out that part of the tree. If you do this each year on the lower limbs, you can help reduce some of the problem. Of course, you can't get very high up in the tree, but you can control some of the webworm. And this is something that you want to keep after every year because the webworms, once they finish feeding in the tree, will drop out, form a cocoon, they'll overwinter, and then they'll probably be back again the next year. And they won't kill your tree the first year or two, but they can severely weaken younger trees, and they can become a real serious problem on larger trees if you let them get out of control. So be sure you cut these out when you first see them.